the tanks are there on the border. Um, a ground invasion looks like it's going to happen over coming days. Uh, how significant is this? And is this really Israel saying they've de decapitated the leadership of that terrorist group, now they're going to smash it even further and push it back? Well, look, I don't think we know, uh, is, is the honest truth. I think Israel has not wanted to repeat a ground invasion like they went through in 2006 because that was not seen as a successful war. But they certainly do want to make sure that Hezbollah is sufficiently disarmed and destroyed as a military organisation such that no longer it can no longer fire rockets into Israel, but that it can also not mount a ground invasion of the sort that Hamas did on the 7th of October. Now, quite what that requires, whether it's just special forces operations targeting particular Hezbollah installations within that buffer zone between Israel and Lebanon or that area between the Latani River and the... Lebanon-Israel border, or whether it requires something more needs to be seen. But Israel has a strategic interest in signalling an intent to take this campaign to its natural conclusion. And, and do you think, so we have to wait and see as to whether where this goes from here, that a, a ground invasion does look inevitable now, though, doesn't it? I don't think it's inevitable, no. I mean, no. I think they've certainly put in place all the precursors, but I think no. it depends... How does Hezbollah respond to what it's been through in the last two weeks? How does Iran respond? If it looks like both of those actors are going to pull back from the brink, uh, then I don't think Israel will act. But bear in mind at the moment, Hezbollah continues to fire rockets into Israel, which is unacceptable to yeah, Israel. Yeah, and I just wonder, and you, you've been ambassador to Israel, surely the this is... It's very different to Gaza, where, say, you, you attack Hamas or you, you try and demolish Hamas and it affects all Palestinians. In Lebanon, there are so many different cohorts, including the large Christian... A cohort right. that fought uh, against many of the, the predecessors of, of Hezbollah for decades. Absolutely. So I just wonder, how does that targeting arrangement happen? Now, Israel's got to be very careful in the way that it manages its incursions. It does, but I would say that um, within the context of a war environment, Israel has actually shown itself to be have incredibly good intelligence about the locations of senior Hezbollah figures and command bunkers and military infrastructure. They have clearly penetrated that organisation over a number of years, probably over decades, to do that. And they have been quite targeted in their operations to date, whether it's been the walkie-talkies, the pages, the command bunker infrastructure in the southern suburbs of Beirut mm. uh, or Hezbollah installations in the Becca Valley. So I think there is a way to distinguish between... The Hezbollah military fighters and the civilian population. Dave Sharma, thank you as always. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate it.